ravishing red roadster radiates in resplendent contrast to the glistening green grounds of sunshine power. The headquarters of sunshine power rises out of the pavement like an emerald monolith sparkling in the night. A gleaming green monument to nature, growth, renewal, and wealth. As I step into the opulent lobby of Sunshine Power's headquarters, a sense of unease washes over me. Rows of potted plants stretch their leaves toward brilliant lights. Glossy posters adorn the walls, all of them boasting about Sunshine Power's clean energy and sustainability initiatives. Smiling, idyllic families holding hands and frolicking in green meadows. There's something off about it all. Even in this gleaming lobby, there's darkness lurking around the edges, like the never-ending night outside is creeping in. still aching from the gleaming lobby, adjust to the muted grandeur that surrounds me. I step out of the elevator onto perfectly polished tile and cringe, thinking about the grime and sludge that my shoes are tracking in. At the end of the hallway is a set of massive wooden doors into which is carved the image of the sun, radiant and resplendent, its rays emanating in all directions. I step into a palatial penthouse suite. A bank of towering windows look down over the twinkling lights of the city. A wide desk of burnished mahogany, behind which a lone figure sits, their back to me in a high-backed leather chair. He is the uh, Blackwood or whatever. He created. The high-backed chair spins around slowly, and a face oh. emerges from the shadows. It's her, face actually. I had expected, despite my hope that somehow I was wrong. Miss Blackwood. I thought I told you to call me Effie. Effie. Mr. Spanner. I'm surprised it took you this long. I should have seen it sooner. How did you figure it out? There is In a no city sun. of endless night and constant rain. Sunshine, Effie. Sunshine is a rare sight. Yes, Cliffy. And yet here we have sunshine power, somehow generating unlimited energy from the sun. The sun that never shines. Oh, it's a great story, isn't it? It makes us feel warm. It makes us feel good, doesn't it? But it's an illusion. A mirage. I can see you're enjoying this. I figure sunshine power is nothing more than a clandestine subdivision of Blackwood Oil. Designed to deceive environmentally conscious customers and the city regulators. It was never meant to provide clean energy, only the appearance of clean energy. And my brother, Rusty? Your brother figured out this filthy secret, and he threatened to expose you and destroy the family business. And you, Miss Blackwood, to protect your family's legacy, had your own brother killed. No, no, it wasn't you who murdered Rusty, Miss Blackwood. In fact, it wasn't a person at all who murdered Rusty. It was the weight of family legacy. Uh -huh. You missed your calling, Spanner. <laughs> you should be writing for the pictures. Tell me, Miss Blackwood, why did you hire me? What can I say? I was in the neighborhood and I needed a light. You used me to tarnish Rusty's good name. The cast dispersions about his association with Misty with cognac you wanted me to cliffy hush it's not as complicated as all that so what then yes you're right rusty's dead i had him pushed into a vat of oil pulverized turned into a few kilowatt hours of energy and fed back to the city it was the most he'd ever contributed to anything really why 
Because he found you out? The truth is, Cliffy, there's only one thing I didn't expect. That I would... Pull in love with okay, you. Okay, guys. It's time to clean up. Can I help you, sir? You're not supposed to be up... Effie, are you okay? So what's your name, pal? Cliff Spanner, private investigator. Well, yeah, you're playing as Cliff Spanner right now. Good work, by the way. It's one of the less common endings. Usually the private eye doesn't make it out of the lounge. Too many distractions. Listen, buddy, what's going on here? What happened to Miss Blackwood? Right, Miss Blackwood. You know how these things go. This is where she confesses. She confesses to the crime, she confesses her love, blah, blah, blah. The fun is all the stuff before. I always skip the denouement. I actually fucking like this. <laughs> it's so weird. What are you talking about? Take a look out there, Cliffy. See that city? It was built for you. Well, not for you. It was built for you. Like I said before, what's your name, pal? Um, I already told you. I'm Cliff Spanner, private investigator. Yeah, the private eye is always a little thick. Hang on. Let's force quit this scenario. Oh, Cliff, I did wrong. You see, it's my fourth husband. He's missing. Cliff, won't you please help me? Blue. Dang it. Hang on. Dang it. Our credit card machine isn't working, so you'll need to download the app. Bah, wrong again. Yeah, help me. Blast it all. Okay, this has got to be it. Now we're talking. Cheers. So, Did tell he spit me, in the glass? how are you enjoying World of Goo 17? The Black Stain. Who are you? I saw you outside my office, and... And outside the lounge, and on the train. Yeah, I get around. What's going on? You and me. We're in World of Goo 17. It's a pretty good sequel. A little off-brand, maybe. But heck, I'm biased. Sequel? Yeah, I know. Some of the sequels were terrible. World of Goo 21 wasn't even a game. It was just a program that generated gameplay video. Infinite generated content. You could stream on your streaming platform to your fans or whatever forever. You could be a content creator without the inconvenience of having to create content. <laughs> so, you're not a cleaner? I'm just another filthy player, just like you. Or I used to be anyway. What do you mean? I'm just a fan of the world of Goo Games. There were so many sequels. They really milked that franchise, didn't they? Uh -huh. Well, yeah, I thought I was playing World of Goo, too. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. They still had some good ideas back then. I bought all the sequels, even the terrible ones. I'm a completionist, you could say. I like to be comprehensive. How many sequels were there? It looks like you've been playing some of them. I guess I'm more of a curator these days. I've made all the sequels available to play here. I think World of Goo 6, 9, and 11 are still working up there. Did you enjoy Goo? It was so stupid, but in a good way, I thought. What do you mean? You used to be a player. These games came out a long time ago. Not much of the world is left from back then. I didn't think people were even around up there anymore until you showed up. But I think I've helped keep this franchise alive and more or less playable. So how are you talking to me now? It turns out World of Goo 17 was Turing complete. So I programmed myself into the game. It wasn't my favorite sequel. Too wordy for my taste. But it let me live forever. So I rate it four out of five stars. Um, I'm sorry. That means the real you died. I mean, a long time ago. Yes, I expect so. How about you? What's your name, pal? Uh... I was playing World of Goo 2, and suddenly the game said I was in World of Goo 17, and made me Cliff Spanner, so I just played along. Hmm. I've played World of Goo 2 hundreds of times, and that's not what happens. What chapter are you in? I'm in Chapter 4. Chapter 4 in World of Goo 2 is supposed to be set in a television animated series spin-off. I guess I just thought you were like the wacky character in World of Goo games that you meet near the end of the fourth chapter. This isn't right. So, Cleaner? Or curator. What do you really look like? Are you sure you want to see?
I'm glad you visited. It must be lonely here, spending eternity inside the 17th sequel. It's been a long time, but the art in four or five of the scenes is pretty good. I like to hang out in some of them. I don't think I would want to live forever inside a noir-themed sequel. I eat a lot of late-night burritos. Thank you for keeping the world of Goo sequels alive and playable after all these years. It was my pleasure. As long as this computer remains powered on, I will continue to live forever and keep the memory of these games alive. Is there anything I can do for you? Well, uh, maybe there is one thing. Sure, what is it? Well, I made some World of Goo fan fiction levels, but nobody has ever played them. Do you want to play one? Uh, I mean, um, sure. Oh, great. I hope you like them. Just walk that way. I should have added that you can just walk the other way and not do it. Sorry, I tripped on this power cable. Is that bad? Is anyone there? Okay, I'll just plug this back in again. Okay, I did not expect that to. That's the rocket that that human was building. 